so first i'm starting up by moisturizing her face with this even true and then becca face primer because she has oily face and i'm applying them with my hands We go ahead to wear her this contact lens that comes in full package including eye drop, eye solution or less solution. It is and this contact lens is very affordable. So I'm going to leave like the Instagram handle either on the screen or the description box below. In case if you are interested, you can easily go and check it out. It's really really affordable. Like I said before, it costs about 4,500 to 5,500. For her look, she actually said that she wants to look a little bit lighter, so that's what I'm actually going for. So, so I'm using this foundation, 2-in-1 foundation, concealer and foundation together, Jordana foundation. So I'm applying it first with a brush, a small brush, before I go ahead to blend it furthermore with a blending sponge. For highlight, I'm actually mixing or actually mixed 2LA concealer, just a little bit of warm honey and then plenty of chestnuts. So I'm applying the concealer exactly where I want the face to be highlighted underneath her eyes and then her forehead, the bridge of her nose and further blend it up with a beauty or blending sponge. To set the concealer, I'm using this Zaron setting powder to actually set where I concealed or where I apply concealer on her face. Like I always say that I love baking my client's face, especially if I'm doing the hair and the face. So yeah, this is what I'm actually doing. So I'm baking her face right now with the Zarum setting powder. This is so that her face doesn't get sweaty after I finish styling the hair because I like to do half makeup, then style the hair and then still come back and complete the look. For eyeshadow, I'm first going in with this orange shade of eyeshadow as a first transition or the first eyeshadow transition color I'm going to be applying on her outer V. And for the second eyeshadow or the second transition color I'm using is this brown shade. All products will be listed in the description box below in case if you are interested or you want to know more of the product I'm using. I'm going to list them down in the description box below. I'm now going in with this Tara eyeshadow primer on her eyelid so that when I apply the eyeshadow color on her eyelid, the eyelid color or the eyeshadow will pop in or will pop. Okay, now I'm now applying this nude matte color on her eyelid, just the same place I applied, just the same place I applied the eyeshadow primer, just on that particular part. And so I'm applying it as I'm applying it, I'm applying it with a brush and I'm just dapping it so that it will actually set on the primer after that i'm using a brown eyeshadow color just to blend everything together so that there won't be any demarcations between the two colors Okay, now I'm going in with a liner and I'm lining it with LA Girl Liner, Eyeliner. Then we'll go ahead to apply mascara and false lashes. So yeah, if you like these lashes, you can as well get it from the same seller, same contact lens seller. The handle will be in the description box below. Now over to the hairstyling. For the hairstyling, I'm first sectioning her hair into two portions, a very small portion at the back, which I'm starting from, then pack it into like a ponytail with a rubber band. And to hide the rubber band, I'm going to remove like a piece of hair from the ponytail or the portion I packed into ponytail just to use it to hide the rubber band. After that, we just go ahead to insert the hair padding by rolling it to the hair or rolling the hair around the hair padding. And then after that, we go ahead to use bobby pins to secure it. Once that is done, we just start spreading the rolled hair or the hair I rolled around the hair padding so that you can hide the hair padding at the back. And after that, we still go ahead to smoothing the hair with a small brush just around the hair padding 
hi everyone welcome back to my channel and thank you once more for tuning in into today's video hope you guys are doing great hope you are doing okay today so today's video is a makeup and a bridal hairstyle tutorial so yeah this hairstyle is different from the other looks i've been doing so i advise you to watch this video from the beginning to the end so that you learn a new trick Next, I decided to section out the front part into three different portions, two by the side and one in front, or two in the middle and one in front. Taking the first portion by the left side and smoothing it, then after that we'll move it straight up to the to where the right side is or i'll move it to the right side of our head to secure it for the right side i'm first securing it first with bobby pins and then go ahead to start styling it this way at this point i'm going to allow you to watch for yourself or see for yourself to understand better i'm not going to explain i'm just going to allow you guys to see for yourself better explanation You can leave all your questions in the comment section below and I will respond to that. And do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up if it's helpful. Share to friends and family as well.
so back to the makeup for the lip for her lip i'm actually using this same palette i've been using all this while so i'm using the nude color so now i'm using tara powder to just dust out all the powder or blend the whole look together so that there won't be any demarcations also go ahead to add glow to her face and still went ahead to define her waterline off camera so yeah here is the final look thank you so much for watching this video to the end hope it's helpful and hope you were able to learn something from this video please if you did do not forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel share this video to friends and family and also leave a comment we'll talk to you guys in my next video stay blessed bye